Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Vesna and today I am going to do this 500 piece Ravensburger puzzle. Uh, this is called Birds in the Meadow and when I first saw this I thought this looks quite challenging because it's so busy so it would be difficult to sort by colors but now that I'm looking at it I really think that I really want to do this. Um, I think it will be quite easy to sort the birds and yeah I think the flowers will be fine and I'm I assume that my favorite part will be this upper part. I love that sky and the woods and yeah I think that will be really nice and easy. So yeah, um, I'm hoping I would get a little bit better time this time. Um, my best time is 3 hours and 45 minutes for 500 pieces. So I'm hoping I will get this done in 3 hours and 30 minutes. So we'll see how it goes. Oh wow, I really really loved this puzzle. It felt super easy. It felt like I was just putting in piece after another and it was a wonderful feeling. I feel like I haven't felt that way with any other puzzle that was over 300 pieces. So this was so much fun. <laughs> And this didn't only feel easy, but I broke my speed record. Uh, it used to be 3 hours and 45 minutes, but now I did this in only 2 hours and 40 minutes. So it was over 1 hour quicker. So I'm really happy with that result. And this experience actually got me thinking because 
sorting takes me about 20 minutes so what would happen if I don't sort at all um, I have seen that many speed puzzlers just dump the pieces all on the table and when they turn them right side up they are simultaneously sorting the pieces so I think I would like to try that how that would feel and also because I have a speed puzzling contest coming up in just a few days so I want to test out different methods and see which would work best for me I actually assume that this method is not the right for me at this point I assume I will feel very overwhelmed and maybe not doing progress at all but I want to try anyway and see how it goes so even if I have done this puzzle before I don't think I will break my speed record or anything um, my goal is to get it done in under 3 hours and 45 minutes which was my previous speed record so that's my goal but I might be a lot slower so yeah I'm really curious what will happen so let's find out that was super fun I wouldn't have ever imagined it would be that fun um, my husband said that that looks super stressful <laughs> but it was so much fun I, I was so active all the time and um, I was I feel like my brain was working better because I was so active all the time I was flipping the pieces and moving the pieces around and and all the time trying to make some something connect to something and wow <laughs> it was really fun but very intense um, I did the puzzle yesterday and I feel like all my muscles are aching in my uh, upper body so <laughs> I don't know if that's to do with um, puzzling but I don't know it was my first time but yeah it was interesting that um, when I, if I sort normally um, I'm trying to be quick yes but um, I don't know for some reason uh, when you have so many pieces that you are looking at there's so much to do at the same time like like you're flipping them and you are um, sorting the pieces at the same time and and I couldn't connect any of the pieces on that stage it was there was so much to do all the time that uh, I was in ecstasy <laughs> it was lovely and I was so surprised that uh, when only like 25 minutes had passed I looked at the, at the clock and thought wow I already have like the edge and the sky and I have started to do the birds like what um, when I did the sorting that alone took me 20 minutes so I don't know <laughs> Um, but there's one one but so I looked at my clock uh, when it was 25 past 7 and I was like oh wow I, I have been so fast but <laughs> but then I uh, watched my clock again and it it was still 
25 minutes past seven and I was like oh no the battery had died what why now <laughs> and in reality the time was uh, 10 minutes to eight so 50 minutes had passed but um, I had done some birds so I, I, I really don't know how fast I was with the itch and the sky and stuff but anyway I'm so so happy that my husband was home and he was able to change the batteries and put this in the right time because um, I really needed this because I didn't have any other clock anywhere I'm filming on my phone and um, I was trying to be really fast but I didn't have any idea of time so well I guess that would work but uh, I don't know and also because I'm filming with frame lapse uh, that has to be readjusted every 30 minutes so I really have to see the time <laughs> so oh dear oh wow but i managed <laughs> okay so a few things that, that i noticed of my speed puzzling experience uh, number one it was surprisingly difficult to flip the pieces uh, because i just kept wanting to sort all the pieces like in different piles like everyone so, so I had to consciously uh, stop myself of sorting all the pieces and just keep flipping those pieces that were downside up yeah <laughs> that was correct <laughs> then number two um, I noticed that I spent too much time on one area like um, for example this forest area here I really tried hard uh, to put all my forest pieces in but I didn't think that all the forest pieces were not there because there were many many forest pieces among other pieces that I hadn't even looked at yet that much but I I spent way too much time ta trying to perfect the forest and that's a no-no then number three uh, I noticed that I hardly ever looked at the image um, and I maybe should have done that more because every time when I looked at it I was like aha of of course yes this helps a lot but somehow I just couldn't do that and then number four I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing but I mostly just looked through the pieces like can I see anything here that would go anywhere um, instead of looking at the puzzle that I was doing and um, picking one place that I want to find that piece um, that didn't happen that much I don't know which method is better or do you just have to do um, them both like 50-50 or is it more like 60-40 or uh, I don't know you tell me how, how do you do that and then finally number five I found it really interesting that when the puzzle was getting more complete and the time was getting more near to nine I somehow uh, set it as a goal that um, I want to get it done by nine so I want to get this done in two hours and for some reason uh, my puzzling really slowed down I felt like I couldn't 
put any pieces anywhere. Uh, I was just completely frozen. I just looked at the puzzle like, what is this? <laughs> what are these pieces? Where do they go? <laughs> but as soon as the clock hit nine o'clock, I was like, oh yeah, this goes there, this goes there, this goes there. Like, what happened? That was so funny. So yeah, I really, really loved this experience and I will definitely uh, do some more uh, speed puzzling in the future. And actually I will do already um, in a few days because I, I'm going to participate in a really small online speed puzzling contest and <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I think I am going to try another puzzle before that, maybe if I have time. I hope so. It was so fun. <laughs> so yeah, it's really interesting to see how my speed puzzling is maybe improving or not. <laughs> and please tell me uh, what is your favorite 500 piece puzzle that you can do really fast because I might want to do some fast ones. Have you done any speed puzzling and do you like it? All right, now I'll start another puzzle. <laughs> so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.